Hello and welcome to a new episode of CSS Tech Talks. Today, I would like to introduce to you a new creative tool we have specially designed for broadcast, live, and event productions, the Trinity Live. The Trinity Live is not a product in the conventional sense, but rather a proof that we at ARI are fully committed to sustainability. The Trinity Life is a special upgrade that perfectly adapts existing Trinity Ones to the, today's demands and requirements of broadcast productions. Let me show you some sample images how we already used the Trinity Life in the last two years, field testing, in sports. Of course, you can use the Trinity Live with any broadcast box cameras, in addition to the Alexa Mini and the Alexa 35. Regardless whether a broadcast camera or ARRI camera is used, the setup, the workflow of the Trinity Live is identically in both worlds. That means you can work with a single hardware solution that absolutely equals in terms of technology and performance. So what is the basic idea behind the Trinity Live? In order to use a body-mounted camera stabilizer like the Trinity, in an ob van or live production environment, the image of the camera has to be transmitted wireless to the ob van. Now, the common practice is to mount this kind of a transmitter to the back of the camera. But depend of the camera in use and the ob van setup, we also may need a second transmitter to transmit camera data, which means in the end, this could become a very long bulky and especially heavy camera setup. The obvious easiest way to keep the overall weight down is not to mount the transmitters at the back of the camera. The really right way to do it, and this is the Trinity Live way, we're going to use the weight of the transmitters as counterweight and that's the reason why we're going to mount the transmitters down here. To do so we also designed the right brackets which are able to take different transmitter systems. So like here in the back, I'm mounting the, the Vislink and here in the front, I mount the second transmitter for the camera control. So beside the counterweight, the second advantage is the antenna position because when the transmitters are mounted here, even if we're moving the Trinity from high mode to low mode and back, the antenna's only rotating on a quite small diameter, which is not the case if we do it the classic way, because the classic way would mean the transmitters are at the back of the camera and when I'm moving the camera from very high to very low, even the antenna will move from very high to very low. But the problem down there is maybe the radio signal becomes more weaker and in the worst case we're going to even lose the transmission. So what is needed to be able to move all this information, video and so on, from here down there, we added some extra features into the Trinity Live, which is 4 times 6 g video, 10 gigabit Ethernet, a telecommunication, return image for a second monitor, and of course the CCP Live, which also allows us to use then the Mini in 12G video and still have a picture for the operator. Now let me walk you through the single components which are included in the Trinity Life upgrade. On the left side, we added four BNC sockets for video in. And this allows you to run the system in four times 3G or two times 6G to in the end to get 12G out of the camera, which depends on the camera, of course, and the setup of your video transmission. On top of this, as another upgrade, there's a 24 volt upgrade, which I think is highly recommended because only with the 24 volt upgrade you can run that system with the Alexa 35 or any other camera which needs 24 volt. At the right front rod, we added an Ethernet in socket. So this socket allows us to connect the camera communication of any broadcast camera or ARRI camera through the rig to the transmitter. 
to ensure a perfect system integration of the Trinity Life in OV and live production environments, we designed the Tali Generation 2. So you see this Tali is pointing to the host of the show and also to ensure that the operator know he is on air, he have to use a second Tali above his monitor. Now let's say there's a second monitor needed for program and return video. The Tali system allows him to power up the second monitor right at the Tali box. Now let's have a closer look at the lower part of the Trinity Life. Down here we got the top stage and we have the battery hanger, which we call the sled. So even here we did some massive changes. What we do is we replace the housing of the existing top stage to a new housing because here we need a different layout for the sockets. So the new sockets are here, the Ethernet out, video one out, video two out, tally out, and on the back side we have video three coming out, video four coming out, and the third BNC is video in for the loop or the program image. Now, to be able to move Ethernet communication down, up to 12G video down, and the tally down, and on the other hand, to move return video up, and of course enough power for the system and the camera, we needed to design a brand new post. And this is a key part of the Trinity Life upgrade, the new post. So the new post contains a 16-pin main cable, and on top of this we added three video coax adapters right into the mechanically insert here. And by the way, this is what we call the post extension. So with this little thing here, you can even extend the length of the actual post, which allows you to go higher and of course, much more lower if you like. Now let me summarize what is included in the Trinity Life upgrade. We have a new cable harness inside the Trinity head. We're adding BNC sockets and ethernet sockets to the Trinity head. You will get a brand new post with the new 16-pin main cable and the additional video lines. And at the sled, you get the new housing for the top stage with the new socket layout. What is not included, but highly recommended from my side, is the 24-volt upgrade, which comes extra, which is also highly recommended because of the 24-volt cameras like the Alexa 35. And another highly recommended upgrade is the Elbus upgrade because this allows you to use the master grip, which enables you to zoom and to tilt with the same controller. Now, after so much information, there's just one question left. How to buy a Trinity Life? Which is quite simple, because if you want to upgrade your Trinity One into a Trinity Life, just call the local RE service and they're going to do the upgrade in your region. But if you are interested to become a Trinity Life operator, just call RE CPO here in Munich and they're going to take care about your request. So thank you for your time in watching this video and I hope to see you soon again. So bye bye.